All right, so we're on. So, Joshua, right? Come on over. Come on over, brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, How have a seat. You? Let's have a seat and, and kick right into it. Absolutely. So I got to tell you, first of all, um, you've got my attention with this car. Why? Um, well, so my Porsche story goes all the way back to the 70s, okay? Uh, but I moved to Florida in the mid-70s with my family, and in 1983, the first Porsche I ever purchased was a 1975 914 2 liter. So you want a second one? So, <laughs> so, so you got my attention with the car, uh, so that's pretty cool. I, I know some of the other guys, I guess, uh, had met you somewhere else and, and got you to come on the show, so we want to say thanks for coming on with us welcome, and tell us a little bit about your Porsche passion. So where did it all start? Uh, with you? Well, actually, um, you, you work from Smash Customs, and Smash Customs, we do restorations, modifications, resto mods. Uh, Porsche is just one of the types of vehicles that we restore. Okay. Um, uh, but we do Fords, Chevys, Ferraris is what we're known for. Okay. We actually had a 308 at Celebration, uh, win second prize there as well. Oh, uh, nice. as, yeah, so. But we we uh, take pride in our in our uh, smash black, and that's what you're seeing right that's there. Right a, that's now. what this 914 is called, yeah, smash was, black. That's what we call the black. It's a dark, intense black, right? And so, okay. All okay. right. So was this done for a specific customer who brought the car to you, or did you guys just find a 914 and decide to build it up and see where that took you? We actually uh, found this 914 and then uh, decided to do, do a touch up on it. It's not a complete restoration, but sure. it's partially restored. But uh, as you can see, it came out pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I call it the bumblebee. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, there actually was. So if you, know, if you don't know a lot about that, you're not necessarily a Porsche guy. Yeah. You're just a car guy who you know, appreciates all the brands. Uh, there was actually uh, 914 LEs. It was called a 914 Limited Edition. And this was back in 74, and it was a two-liter car, and they'd made them in two different versions, a bumblebee and a creamsicle. And the bumblebee was black with the yellow, similar to this, not exactly like this, but similar. And then the other one was a, a white, a, sort of an ivory uh, white with orange. So that's how you got the creamsicle, you know, yeah. like the, you know, like the, you know, the, the dessert, you know, popsicle, the creamsicle, yeah. and uh, and those were, you know, super uh, popular 914s, um, made in pretty small numbers. There's a real following for those cars, and in recent years, the values of those things have really started to go up. So this is kind of like an outlaw LE, I think. Yeah, it is. It is actually, and we get we get a lot of bids for it, um, uh, but it's um, it's been interesting to see as we keep doing different things to the vehicle, how uh, people get, uh, I guess. Uh, passionate about the vehicle and they yeah. start just you know bidding on it even higher and higher and higher it's getting yeah. it's it's interesting to see that yeah. though so how much have you driven the car yourself actually uh, i do some of the test drives on it and uh and I've dro i drove it down here today so actually quite a lot on this unit so uh, you know we like to test drive our units and make sure that they're uh, driving correctly everything's functioning sure. uh, everything's road uh, safe right, right. Yeah. you know because on these older cars some things you know uh, yeah. are, are old wiring not sophisticated yeah. electronics that they're yeah. right now but uh, we do a really good job at smash customs with that and oh, we take cool. pride in what we do yeah one of the big things with these cars um, was they had plastic fuel lines down the tunnels of some uh, of these yeah. and so a lot of those were problems over the years and guys would burn up cars just you know simple fuel line exactly. thing you know really simple yeah. so but it's so cool to see this out here we don't see a lot of 914s out at Porsche night we see them almost every Porsche night there'll be a 914 here uh, but you see them in all different varieties. You know, you just don't see many of them on the road anymore. Yeah. So it's cool to see one that's that's in good condition. Yeah. It's it's survived and it's been refreshed and it's sort of given a new uh, a new uh, a new life thanks to you guys. So how did you start Smash Customs? Are you the are you the founder? No, I'm not the founder. I'm the vice president of the company. Um, Dwayne Dundor is the founder of the company. Okay. Uh, he started this many years ago, and one of his passions was the uh, vehicles. Is He's got a, uh, a fondness for Ferraris, okay. and he's moved on with other vehicles as well. He's, uh, he likes some bikes as well, uh, but it's interesting to see how he, pro he applies his creativity uh, to these vehicles. It's incredible. It's incredible. Well, that's